everybody, it's Dr. Sandman, and I know, I know, it's been a hot minute since we had a Let's Get the Spread video. It's long overdue. We need another installment. I know you guys are dying for another one. Well, I'm back. Uh, you may notice that I am not at my setup for cooking. I just want to show off my makeup, my Valentine's Day makeup, because it's a Valentine's Day themed episode of Let's Get This Spread. I worked very hard on it and I'm not letting it die. <laughs> I am not letting this makeup that I worked so hard on die with a far away camera view. You guys gotta get up all into this. Okay, all up into this. The lace, the, the lace, the flowers, the dots, the three cheers for sweet revenge demolition lovers, the heart-shaped lips. It just, just the heart glitter that shines green. Get into it. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled program. So if you only watch my channel or you're only subscribed for the Let's Get This Bread series, I completely get it. I, I see you and I recognize you. Um, but if you're only watching my channel for that reason, uh, you may notice that we are in a new setting. Um, I moved again, uh, not recently. It's just been a hot minute since I've made a Let's Get This Bread video. Today's video is a very exciting bread and guys, you're gonna scream. Okay, if I can succeed in this recipe, if I can pull it off, you guys are gonna freak out. We are making, get this, a rose bouquet pull apart bread. I know, sounds ambitious, it is, but I think that I can handle it. Um, famous last words. So let's hope that I don't screw myself over. So let's go over what you need. For ingredients, you're gonna need flour. You're gonna need yeast. You're gonna need some sugar and the flour and sugar are in jars right back here. I am prepared. You're gonna need some salt. I have pink salt because that's just what I have. And also Valentine's Day, it's coming up. It's coming up, you guys. It might be Valentine's Day by the time this goes up. It might be after Valentine's Day by the time this goes up, but um, pink salt, so fun. You're going to need a milk replacement. I have oat milk just cause that's all I have. Um, you're gonna need water. You are going to need vegan butter. I have Earth Balance right here. And then you're gonna need vegan food dye. I have these. Um, the color is up to you. I am going to be using my red and probably my pink. If you wanna use just one or the other, you are totally welcome to. You are going to need a large mixing bowl. Prepared. You're gonna need something to stir it with. You're gonna need measuring spoons and measuring cups. You're going to need a small saucepan. I don't have that, so I'm just using a frying pan. Um, you're going to need, oh, I got this just for this video, just for this recipe, um, a circle pan. Ideally, I think you'd want one a little bit deeper, but um, this is what I have, so. And you are also going to need, most importantly, a cooking buddy. And we have, as always, Frasier. Cardion Frasier. Let's get into it, shall we? It looks like we're fairly ready to start. So taking your large mixing bowl, we're going to first add some of the flour, not all of it. We are going to have three fourths of a cup of flour in the bowl. This is one fourth. I'm going to do three of these because I can do math, obviously. I one day will get a setup where you can see everything I'm doing, but that day's not today. Um, I've got bigger things to focus on in my life than in my let's get this bread video, video series. I know that sounds shocking. I know, like, why would I? Why would I have better things to do? But if you can believe it, then we are going to need the yeast. We need four and a half tablespoons of yeast. I don't know how much that was, so I got so much yeast. I need nine of these, right? Yeah, because this is a half tablespoon. I need four and a half tablespoons, right? Yeah. Okay. So wish me luck. Okay. That took me ridiculously long to add the yeast. I don't want to get into it. I'm traumatized. Absolutely traumatized. Um, so sugar, right? We're all familiar with it. Um, we need two tablespoons and this is a half a tablespoon. So I need four of these. Oh, since you can't see what I'm working in, I'll pour like this. Like that better? Is that, is that good for you? Is that good for you? 
Hope it is. Hope you're enjoying. Hope you're enjoying. How's everybody's week? I know you're gonna um, ask me because you're dying to know how am I spending my Valentine's Day? Well, I'll tell you. Um, I'm going to work because um, it's a Monday, bitch. Sugar is all in there. Now we need the salt. How much salt? One half of a teaspoon of salt. So I need to get more measuring spoons because I just don't have anything I'd ever need ever. This is a quarter. Pink salt for the gays, the girls, the gays, and the vays. Stir, stir to your little heart's content. Also, just um, just to let you guys know, I know I've been moved in this place for a long time now. Um, I will be doing a tour of at least my room, if not the whole apartment. I don't know, the whole apartment's not very decorated, like, like fun, it's not really interesting. Um, but I will do a bedroom tour because I have it all decked out, I'm just waiting to, to, to make it perfect for viewing. Um, I'm get I'm getting there though. This is so much yeast, you guys. So now we're gonna move over to the saucepan. Um, right? Yeah, okay. A little saucepan uh, on low heat. We're gonna be adding a half cup of your milk replacement. Mine is the oat milk. Um, one fourth a cup of water and two tablespoons of your vegan butter. So I put all the ingredients together and it's on low heat and we are going to mix it all until it's all melted and warmed up. Okay, so we have our mixture and we're going to add it to the dry mixture. Alrighty. And while I'm, I'm mixing this in, I'm also going to start adding the red dye. I'm going to add tons of it because I want this to be red. Um, I want it to look like a bloody red rose. Oh yeah, this is gonna be red. Okay, okay. I, I did it. We we did it. I don't like how it's warm. I don't like how, yeah, you know, you know. Okay, now that it looks like something that Edgar Allan Poe would write about, we are gonna add one fourth cup of flour, another cup, another, another fourth cup. Yay, and then we're gonna keep mixing and Having a good time. Now we're gonna add the last cup of flour and then once we have done that, we're going to knead it for 10 minutes. I love how I talk like I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. If you guys don't know about my series, I have never baked bread before and I'm teaching myself how to do it. No idea what I'm doing. Um, just, um, it's, it's yeast a licking a promise with me. This is what it looks like before I add the flour of the final cup and we're gonna go for it. All right, so I've added my flour and I'm going to knead it for 10 minutes. We're gonna see how that goes, let's go. So I'm done kneading it into a perfect little ball. Isn't this so satisfying to look at? And I need to put it in a bowl and leave it for 10 minutes. You could cover it, am I going to cover it? Probably not. Um, uh, why? Laziness, if I'm being honest. So, um, that's where I'm at. All right, cover it for 10 minutes. See you in 10 minutes. We let him rise and boy has he risen. So the next step is to make the flowers, make the bouquet. And this is the only part that I feel is gonna be actually a little bit challenging because um, I'm mixing two recipes. This, uh, I got the recipe on terms of ingredients. Um, from one website and the technique for making it a bouquet uh, from another website. So it doesn't tell, so it did not, the measurements don't add up so I don't know how to divide it so that it works nicely, but I'm gonna do my best and just divide it into as many small balls as possible. And I'll tell you where I go from there. So there's not a lot of this dough. <laughs> Um, so what I'm going to do, I have four clumps of it, and then I'm going to divide each of those into three, and then I'm going to braid it, like you the same way you would hair. Okay, so I've got three strands here. I hope this turns out fine, and then you pinch them. I know they're not even, um, and then you start braiding them. So if you're not familiar with braiding, you go a little bit like that. Oh, fuck. And then a little something like that. And then you go back and forth, and then I'm going to do it neater off camera. So now that I've braided it, um, I'm just going to roll it against itself. So I want to see if I can do this with one hand so I could show you. So 
take it and roll it like that until you've made a rose. And then you put it on its sides and it looks kind of like a rose. And then you put it in the pan. I think the pan's too big now that I think of it. And what are you gonna do? Okay, word. So next time I have to double the recipe because this is not taking up the whole pan, but aren't these pretty little roses? The first one's kind of a struggle bus, but whatever. Um, and so, oh my God, if only it was all full, but you know. Um, I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes to rise and then I'll have a good time. Okay, so I did, not, I did end up um, separating them really early on into their rising times uh, because they, they got quite big very fast within a few minutes so i had to separate them a little bit um and luckily they didn't deflate too bad um so now the oven is at 375 degrees fahrenheit and they're gonna go in for 20 minutes they're a little toasty um i don't know i just took them out of the oven um they smell gorgeous um, and as soon as they cool, I will let you know how they taste. Okay, it's finally cooled down. I just got my little rose. Um, again, smells very good. Um, kind of soft. And it's cool enough to try. Fuck, that's so good. This would be really good with some garlic salt. I'm gonna put butter on this and, like, vegan butter and, like, garlic salt. Um, make it garlicky. But it's got, like like a hint of sweetness to it i don't know like it's it's good man ah oh, this was so good this is such a success i mean it might not have fit in the pan like i hoped it would um but yeah i i do like how it turned out i think this one's a success guys we did it <laughs> we made good bread we got this bread thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more let's get this bread videos let me know if there's a specific kind of bread you want to see me tackle i'll leave a comment if you like and i'll leave all my social media links in the description below and I hope you guys are doing very well thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy your valentine's day or if you don't celebrate i hope um i hope you're in good company and you're having a good time bye